Hello and welcome to Yao Guai Gaming where we are playing Conan Exiles and today we are going to start off our episode by trying to get our first named thrall knocked out and onto the wheel of pain. Right, so we need to kill these shale backs before... There we go, perfect, the shale backs are targeting us. Okay, nice. And so now we can focus on Kira the Mad, who actually we already like have fought someone with that exact name. So if you look at her health compared to her knockout bar, they're going down at like the exact same rate. But they're not. The knockout bar is going down the tiniest little bit faster. The tiniest little bit faster. So if we, if we let her take damage, then the difference isn't enough and she just dies if we let her regen her health then the difference i think her topper regens faster than her health uh so it's not enough and she just dies so we're doing well this time in that she took absolutely no damage from those shale backs which means we're actually going to get her knocked out quite a bit before she is uh dead but do you see what i mean about how difficult it is if she takes any damage, it's just over. Right, so. I, yeah, we'll take a, mm, it takes 27 hours for her to, to tame, which is kind of insane. But we'll take her back just in case, in case we want her. So I have a question, right? I've been talking about this with my wife, who's from China and with Jorgen, who's from America. It's, it's did anyone, does anyone remember shows like Art Attack? By that, I mean, we, when you were younger, did you watch like an arts and crafts show where they would make something, let's say they'd make it out of glue, okay? So they'd do like the first step, but because it was all wet, they'd put it to one side and they'd go, here's one we did earlier. Does anyone remember that? Someone, someone must remember that. That sort of style of kids show when you were younger. Because if you do remember it, this is, this is brilliant. I couldn't have planned this any better. This is Kira the Mad, okay? Oop. Kira the Mad is now on our station. All right. Kira the Mad is here. We are now taming Kira the Mad. And here in our infantry, we have the one that I did earlier. <laughs> so here is Kira the Mad that we did earlier. Where the hell did she? There we go. So that is the same person, but it's one that I did earlier yesterday. <laughs> so we've got ourselves. Uh, here's one I made earlier. So this is our Kira the Mad. So I'm, I kind of want to compare her who's like a skull named character against this guy who we tamed at the end of the last stream. So this one has 2,300 health, okay? And he is level 16. He's leveled up a few times. She has 1,000 health. Hmm. All of her points are into vitality though. Whereas he has a range of points. And he has a minus five vitality. This is not good. He isn't very good. So what we need to do now is we need to figure out how tames work. It tells you health gained from vitality. Vitality health bonus 900. Vitality health bonus 2000. Right, so this guy started with like 300 health. She started with like, what, 400? Ah, it doesn't matter. Anyway, 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 anyway. The point is, what I'm trying to do now is figure out how. Did she carry more? No. What? Do you, I don't know why she's better, but apparently she's better. Maybe when, maybe when we get her up to the same level, she'll be a lot better. But what we need to do now is figure out how this stuff works. So this is, this tells her what, uh... What stats are going to go up? 
So if we give her like gruel to eat, then she'll get a greater chance of increasing her strength level. Is that right? So let's let's grab a piece of gruel and let's see how this works. If we grab 25 gruel, okay? This is going to burn for 14 hours. That'll do for now. We can put some more in later. And we put that there. How do we know how much of it she uses, she eats? Is it just one? Right, so it's just the one. Okay. Interesting. So that's not that great because that means she's going to end up being an agility character because it's 100% agility. Or is that how much this is likely to go? Okay, okay, okay. One second. So it's not which one is going to get points. It's how likely those things are to get points. Is that correct? So with this guy, right, when he levels up, he has an 88% chance to gain vitality, an 88% chance to gain grit, a 64% chance to gain agility, and only a 40% chance to gain strength. Whereas she is always going to grow in her agility, almost always going to grow in her vitality. So we should actually give her something that increases her vitality. Grilled steak. How do we make grilled? Is that this? Grilled steak. There we go. Because we want her to... So if we get that up, then it's going to be a vitality and agility build that she'll be. Can I get her to eat that from here? No. Okay. So we need to make sure we've got a bunch of grilled steaks for her. Okay. Right. Let's get a few more grilled steaks then. Uh, apparently I'm cooking people. I didn't know I could do that. I'm, I'm just going to drop the people because I don't really want to cook people. Okay, next thing we want to do is get her some armor. Now, stamina doesn't matter for her, so I was thinking of putting heavy armor on her, but do you know what we could do? We could just put on some armor that we've got lying around. We've got bits of armor lying around. So let's just use that for now. And same with weapons, we'll give her... Maybe daggers, since she's going to be an agility build. give her a dagger and let's get her some armor on okay she's kind of cool right i don't know how good she's going to end up being i have no idea how these things work this is my first time properly trying to get a a, a thrall to like work as a useful character and i just don't know how successful it's going to be Next, we went looking for some brimstone so we could get the required materials to start making steel. There's brimstone. You're right, Ken. There we go. Me and some of my friends have Conan on the backlog of games to play, so I can't wait to start. Are you playing it with your friends? Are you going to like start a little dedicated server with them then? Because that would be a really fun experience for you. <laughs> Follow her leveled up again. Don't know how good she's going to get. Private server. Yeah, that's the way to go. Definitely. <laughs> Just be careful about the purge. We had... Oh, hello. We had a bit of a bug earlier with the purge where it just wouldn't stop and poor Kayan would not get left alone. So for now, we've turned it off until we can figure out why he was getting bullied by the game. <laughs> we don't talk about the third, no. Follow a level up again, nice. This is going all right. Okay, let's keep getting this. Kayan's two hour purge extravaganza. It was quite fun. Right, it's good to know that there's two brimstone caves around this area. That is really good to know. Anything else around here? No. Okay, there is a boss croc at the end. I don't know if I want to take my follower into it. She might get killed. Like, she's already lost a bit of health. 
Yeah, no, if I take her against that croc, she dies. It's that straightforward. And I don't, I don't think I want her to die yet. Like, not before we've had a chance to see how good she could actually be. So we've got ourselves a couple of hundred brimstone. The cave that's closer to our base might actually respawn at some point soon. So this, I think, will do for now. So let's head back to base with this. Let's tell it to start crafting. And then let's go see if we can get some legendary loot from the boss chest nearby that crocodile. Hello, ghost. What do you want? I don't understand the ghosts in this game. Okay. I don't think the ghost wanted anything and she just wanted to be spooky. Back at base, we got our steel crafting. And then we put down a stable to tame some horses. And then we put down a stable to tame some horses. My horsey! <laughs> Yoink! <laughs> Just eat the horse. There we go. We have eaten the horse. All right. <laughs> Okay, so we need to start harvesting Komodos that we kill, but I'd like another horsey. So we've got a spare. Joke's on you, Cotton, already. Fair enough. There's the big boss. Okay, so we're actually near the chest. But to get the chest, we're going to have to get near a boss that will fuck me. Horse. There we go. There's our second to Swift fall. I'm assuming that means it's faster. Because, you know, words. So we've got a foal and a swift foal. That's kind of cool. At least we've got a decent backup horse now. Oh, there's another one. Another foal. All right, we've got all the horses and a person. Oh, there's Ken. <laughs> <laughs> I was ready to go to war, but no, it's just Kane. Right, let's see if we can get this box. I don't know if Kane's opened this box as well. There was a box around here. Where's it fucking gone? I saw a box. That's how I knew the boss was here, because I saw the box. What? I remember the box being at the base of this cliff, and it's just not. Okay. No treasure box then for us. I mean, we could have a quick look at this boss and see how strong it is, but I think there's a good chance of it just obliterating us. See how much damage it does to Kira the Mad. You know what? Not that much. Quite a lot to us, though. Holy fuck! We're leaving. We are leaving. Hopefully Kira TPs to us. Because otherwise we've lost all the horses. But nope. She's, oh, thank God she's back. Oh, you beautiful girl. Am I on the right side of the island? I can't remember where the box was, to be honest with you. But I've got a horse and that's what I want. So I'm just going to leave. We took a little break from exploring to again kill the big legendary crocodile. And grabbed a cool legendary mace as part of our reward. Which was amazing and has made me just completely fall in love with maces in this game. Holy crap, they're cool. Just look how quickly they destroy these trolls. With our weapons upgraded, it was time to get ourselves some decent armor. 
So we crafted some of the DLC armor that I bought and it looked pretty nice in the end. Then it was time to try our new weapons and armor against a new legendary monster, the Scorpion. I don't know how armor classes work in Conan Exiles, especially when it comes to animals, but if I had to hazard a guess, I'd say the Scorpion is fairly armored. So the mace was probably a good choice here. Unfortunately, we haven't quite completed our ensemble and we don't have a helmet, so we're definitely losing some style points there. I think we've got this guy. The block works wonders on him, actually. When he bothers to look at me instead of Kane. Yeah, the block actually rebounds him. That's insane. It's literally just heavy armor with his skin. Exactly, yeah, it has absolutely no statistical difference. Oh, Kira's not doing too hard. This guy's way lower than she is. Scorpion seems to have forgotten it can move. Yeah, it has forgotten it. it can move its tail super fast. There we go. With the scorpion dead and its loot box slightly booked out, we decided to head home. And then on the way home, we realized that one of our mods on the server allows us to change how our armor looks. I don't know if we can dye it actually, can we? If we do like, Doesn't, this doesn't do anything. Okay, I can't actually click on anything here. So I don't think this can be dyed. More. Okay, so we can use like actual... Oh, okay. Color picker. Say what? Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. So you can make it like white. And then what? This you could make. Which color is this? Oh, that is really, really, really nice. And the ta this is like the tassels, I think. Yeah. Not gonna lie, I kind of like the white under. Oh. Oh, that's kind of gorgeous. How do I do it then? Oh. That is fucking stunning. Look at that. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm absolutely in love with this. This is the coolest shit. I can make the whole armor this like white and gold. Or I could make it red and gold or black and gold or something. The bottom lion looks as if it's been gagged. <laughs> that lion was naughty. <laughs> so that lion was uh, punished. <laughs> now he's not allowed to talk. He was swearing too much. We took some time and we redid our entire suit of armor, including the newly crafted helmet in the white and gold style. Then it was finally time for our first dungeon. We met up with a few other players on the server and we went down to explore the dregs. Let's go. Let's clear some people out. Let's kill some people. Hi, you. Hi, you. I cut your arms off with a fucking mace. You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, you don't want to fight me. You want to chat to me. You want to fight me. This is very chaotic. <laughs> No! 
Right, we're at Sul Skulker's End. Oh, level three Carpenter. I need to start clearing this place out to look for thralls. Holy crap. This is insane. <laughs> Where are my thralls? My thralls are over here. Okay. But I don't know why it wants me to lock onto uh, Rasp uh, Rasputin in his elephant all the time. It's so annoying. But I do kind of like the lock on feature. It just has this weird thing about locking onto stuff that isn't actually my enemy. <laughs> Let's get this guy done. You can loot war paint. All right, cool. That sounds good. We need to save one person to open the door. Right. I don't kill quite everyone then. Oh, Jorgen's here. Okay. How about we save a melee person? Because then we can get them to follow us. I think everyone's dead. Everyone is dead. Right, let's see if there's anyone a bit closer up to the door. Do we need to kill someone inside to like activate it or something? Man flesh. Right, okay, there's this guy here. I'm gonna I'm gonna kite this guy in. They're not come here you. They're not following. I tell my guys to go inside? Right, my people are ordered to go inside. Let's see if that means that the enemies will follow us in. Yes. So get everyone to go inside. Make sure you get an enemy to follow you in. Don't let the bear kill everyone. Okay, one, there's a fighter coming in. I don't think the fighter has been able to get in. He's still here. They're still here. Don't let the elephant kill them. Feck. I don't think that worked. Hmm. I don't think that worked. You stay here. You stay here. Let's see if there's anyone else. Everyone who's got like followers, tell them to stop being angry for a moment and we'll see if we can get, see if anyone's respawned and we can kite them in. There's no one up here. Doesn't look like it. Bugger. Okay, we might we might be in trouble here then. Set followers to attack nothing. All right. Uh, behavior. Engagement. Oh wow, this is a bunch of stuff. Attack nothing. Behavior. Engagement. Attack nothing. Okay. Hmm. Oh dear. That <laughs> person got shredded. Right, let's see. There's a horse up there. Now, there must be someone in this camp somewhere who we didn't aggro. There's always someone in the camp. You've got someone? Archers, though, they're going to be a pain. Let's see if the, if any of these guys are melee. Because archers are not going to follow us all the way. What is that? Oh, it's Kayan looking like a fucking alien. No, they're not going to follow that far. Hmm. Oh, 
that's clever. That's very clever, Jorgen. 10 out of 10 there, yes. I like that idea. Drag them in and then sacrifice them. We are monsters. <laughs> but I'm a good looking monster in my armor. Behavior, engagement. Guard me. Behavior, engagement, guard me. All right, let's go. We've got a fucking army here. <laughs> We're going in this place with an army. Oh, this is so good looking. Why is this game so good looking? It has no right to be this good looking. All I can think of is Gollum saying, don't follow the lights. Our little hobbits is go down and light candles of their own. Oh, hello. Law tablet, where? Where is law? Entrance. All right, let's go and have a look. What this thing? Ah, I see you. I see you. Ah. Okay. Cannot climb here. Be careful. Right. Did we just go straight across? Go straight across. So these ghosts are trying to show us the way to go. We've got our army. Very cool aesthetics in this place. Uh, yeah, the aesthetics of the whole game are pretty awesome, to be honest. Is that a... It is. Oh, I don't know if I should have done that. <laughs> what if I drown everyone now? It's very creepy, isn't it? More things to shoot? Yeah, there's one there. That looks like it used to be one, but isn't one. Well, the water's going up and that's what matters. Okay, there we go. So just shoot the puzzles and keep going. What if you didn't bring a bow? <laughs> You'd be, be absolutely fucked. Elephant. Okay. Water goes up again. Door shuts as the water goes up. Kind of creepy, we'll, we'll admit. Ah, there's one there. There might be one on the other side as well or something. Oh, no, that drops this side's water and then raises this side's water. Okay.
Have I gone wrong here? Yeah, I think I have. You need to be in the middle, don't you? Oh dear. Okay, so we need to shoot something to raise this. Do we need to go back? No, it's raising, it's raising, it's raising. Okay. I don't know if someone shot the right thing. I think they did. Okay, let's... All right, so there's a passage down to the right and then there's a passage straight on. I reckon the passage straight on is like the way to go. And saying wait, all right, let's wait. What's up? Where is everyone? There's Rasp. There's Kid. Skeleton. Do we. Let's explore the right passage. I reckon the passage straight on is the proper way to go. So I kind of want to have a look what's in this right passage first. Is there nothing down here? Go on, I'm going to stand in it and see what happens. Oh, it's acid. <laughs> I took one for the team. Dipped my toe in the goop to see what the goop was. Drago. Like icky undead. But not fully skeletons, they've still got like meaty bits on them. <laughs> I see an elephant. Okay. Follow you, I'm gonna see where we go. There's nothing to shoot here, so. Swim around until we find something to stand on, and then when we find something to stand on, is. Ah, there's something to shoot there! We get to that? No, not quite. What about if we stand up? Is there anything to stand on here? Can we shoot it from here? Yes! Sort of. Okay, so the water goes up. We get out. Oh, and the water keeps going up. Not the bear shit, man. The, the bear made me absolutely shit myself then. I thought some sea monster was rise, rising up out of the water. There is something bad up here. Hi, zombie. Hi, zombie. Oh, aren't you just beautiful? I guess I can't stand near you, otherwise you'll acid bath me. Uh, where the fuck did she go? Oh, hello! Then we wail on her while she's like this. And she does not last long, holy crap! You have acquired knowledge, reptile leather, abysmal, so abysmal stuff. 
And then what? Okay. Is that like a way out? Doesn't look like it. Oh, return to the surface. Ah. Not a particularly long dungeon by any stretch, but I mean, there were four of us and all of our followers and we did kind of, we did kind of slaughter everything there, didn't we? So with our new set of armor, our new legendary mace and the first dungeon and boss of the game completed, that is where we will end it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Conan Exiles is a different type of survival game to Ark, but I'm absolutely loving it. I hope you're enjoying this series. I hope to see you next time. Toodles.